it's eclipse day so we're not just chasing the eclipse right now we're taking we're chasing the sun oh i can actually see the disc a little bit through these clouds out the window um we're driving about an hour and a half away to start from our hotel um and we're following my brother and uh so it's become a two for a morning we're, we're chasing not just the eclipse but we're chasing the sunshine um not gonna lie it doesn't look great around the area that we're headed to but where we are going gives us um, some options to go even further um, west and north and if we need to jet south so if we if we come to a place where it looks like we might need to uh, change directions kind of quickly we'll be able to, I think we'll be in a good proximity to do that so but this is kind of how the day has locked here it actually looked way worse at the hotel this is this is this is encouraging believe it or not this is encouraging uh, the hotel was just totally it was like I was telling my husband it's like one big cloud there you couldn't even see like breaks in it it was just one big like gray cloud so anyways um, this is the first the first part of the day I think we're probably about I don't know, 20 30 minutes from where we're thinking about kind of scoping out the first stop. Our plan is to try to figure out if we have to move around and go somewhere else to set up everything in time to, to at least be able to try to see and shoot um, totality even if we can't get the phases leading up to and going out of due to clouds. Because the, the most important part of Observing and shooting a total solar eclipse is the totality part, obviously. Um, pretty much the phases are exactly the same for every eclipse that you ever see. So that's the goal. Uh, we're working towards it, so we'll see what happens. Um, just kind of got to step out and hope that the bridge will appear. So anyway, more to come later. Wish us luck.